What's going on guys, Coach Miles here for my performance and for this Whiteboard Wednesday we're discussing cluster training, the key to unlocking size, strength and power. So what is cluster training? Cluster training consists of adding intraset rest periods, generally 10 to 20 seconds between reps, in order to use heavier loads or hit more reps with the same load. Clusters allow us to lift heavier weights, lift faster and with better technique. We still have our larger rest periods between sets, generally 90 to 300 seconds depending on the training goal, we're simply adding rest periods between reps as well. So clusters for size, right? Hypertrophy training. Using clusters in our hypertrophy training, we can find ways to either perform the same volume prescription with more weight or more reps with the same weight, both leading to bigger gains in size, right? So if we look at this chart over here on the right, here's some common volume prescriptions for hypertrophy. Don't get too caught up in the numbers as far as percentages, they're just here they're arbitrary and they're here to help you kind of paint a picture of how we can lift much heavier using clusters on the right column. Okay, so for example, three sets of 15 at 60%, four by 12 at 63%, five by nine at maybe 68%, four by 10 at 65%. So what you'll notice here over here on the right, let's say I take that three by 15 and turn it into three sets of five, four, three, two, one, right? 10 to 20 seconds between each rep. I can now use a much heavier load, in this case maybe 70%, right? So I'm still getting 45 total reps on the day, but now they're much higher quality and I'm using much heavier loads, right? Again, you can see this four by 12 at 63%, maybe it becomes four triples per set at 74%, five by nine could become three triples per set at 78%, and maybe four by 10 becomes five sets of four, four, two at 76%, okay? So again, same volume prescription, much heavier, this is going to lead to better progress. So as far as tools we like to use when we're doing clusters for hypertrophy, uh, barbells and dumbbells are obviously huge. As far as accommodating resistance, we do love using chains. We love bands for accommodating resistance, but they can tend to beat up your joints a little bit if you use them in high volume. So we're going to reserve that for our max effort and dynamic effort work, as you'll see later in the presentation. So now using clusters for strength, using clusters in our strength training, we can find ways to, again, either perform the same volume prescription with more weight or achieve more reps with the same weight, both leading to bigger gains in strength. So again, if we look at this chart over here, maybe we do a five by five at 77%. We can probably take that 77% and do five sets of three, one, one, one. So now we're actually hitting six reps, 77 to 80%. So same weight or even higher weight and we're hitting more reps. Or again, we can take that five by five, hit five singles per set at about 83%, right? Five sets of four at 80 could become two doubles at 85 and five sets of three at 85% can maybe become three singles per set at 88%, right? So again, very potent training stimulus as far as strength goes because we can lift so heavy. As far as tools we like to use, right? Again, barbells, dumbbells probably won't be as common in this uh, method because we're lifting so, such low reps, it's maybe not appropriate, but 100% we're gonna be using that accommodating resistance, right? Chains again, now we can add those bands in and you guys know we love our eccentric hooks, right, or our weight releasers. So, especially in the second and fourth row where we're doing a lot of singles, right, we can make sure that between every single rep, when we're taking that rest period, we can put the hooks back on the bar, and we can make sure that we have the hooks on for every single eccentric portion of every single rep, right? So, for example, in this five sets of one, 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 all 25 reps for the day could have hooks on during the negative. Again, like I said, very potent training stimulus for strength. Now, clusters for power, right? So using clusters in our power training, we're now looking to perform the same volume of work, but because of the added rest periods, we can ensure that every single rep is high quality. So oftentimes you may see a prescription for power of eight sets of three, 10 sets of three, 12 sets of two on jumps, throws, or dynamic effort barbell lifting. This is fine most of the time, there's nothing wrong with it, but how can we ensure that the second and third reps of those sets are always high quality? Clusters, right? So you'll notice, from left to right, the percentages do not change. What we're assuming here is that because we're using the same weight but we're adding in these intraset rest periods, the quality of each rep will be higher, right? The power output will be higher, the speed will be higher. Okay, what else this allows us to do is, like I said, you know, we love our hooks. Usually if we're doing the overspeed or overshoot method, those hooks are only gonna be on the bar for the first rep if we're doing, let's say, a triple, right? Now if we go cluster style, we can make sure that we put the hooks back on for every single rep Again, now in this case, all 24 reps of this day will have that eccentric hook with the 30% of our max during the negative portion of the lift, right? Again, very potent power stimulus. So as far as tools, again, barbells, 
med balls even for throws, uh, trap bar jumps for accommodating resistance, chains, bands, and like I just mentioned, we can use hooks as well. And finally, here's one that's often overlooked, right? Clusters are a very, very potent teaching tool and very effective uh, when we're trying to refine our technique, right? So clusters are an incredible tool in our toolbox that we can use to master technique with new lifters as well. Oftentimes, coaches may prescribe three sets of 15 or four sets of 15, three by 12, whatever it may be, uh, for new lifters. So they have a lot of opportunity to practice their exercise technique because the volumes are so high, right? So while the intentions here are great, the problem is that we know half of these reps are probably going to be sloppy, right? By no fault of the athlete, they just haven't learned the motor pattern yet. So in a set of 15, the first five may be great, but the rest will likely not be where we want them to be, right? They're probably not going to be too good. And so in a 3 by 15 prescription, 15 of our reps for the day are good and 30 are bad, right? So we're now doing more harm than good, practicing bad habits. If we add these interset pauses in, we can now ensure that every single rep for the day will be high quality and we're practicing good habits, right? So again, if you look at this chart over here, the percentages from the left column to the right do not change because our goal is not to lift heavier, right? We're using the same load, but because of these built-in rest periods in each set, we know the quality is going to be higher of each rep, and now our athlete is learning how to lift properly, safely, and effectively. And we can eventually load that later down the road because we know their technique is on point, right? Again, 63%, still 63%, 68 still 68 and 65 here, it's still 65, right? Don't get too caught up in the numbers, as I mentioned. Understand, though, that they're not changing because that's not the point. As far as tools, with this method, Again, it's for beginners and we're really just trying to learn. So primarily it's just going to be barbells and dumbbells only. We're not going to be using a combination resistance or anything crazy like that because it doesn't really align with our goals of using clusters for technique, okay? That's all we got for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, we'd love to uh, chat about this and, and uh, so we can you know, help you further and teach you further and kind of show you how you can implement this into your own training. So feel free to hit us up uh, on any social media platform or you can email us info at ironperformance.ca. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.